fellow basketball fans, you've got it on 2K Sports as we get set to bring you an exciting NBA basketball game. Along with Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and our sideline reporter David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. We'll see the New York Knicks and the Philadelphia 76ers. And it's Philadelphia to start out, and the basket is good. You have to track Paul George all over the floor, a three-level scorer, and he's going to come at you in multiple ways. Count the basket. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. And here is Harper after the three-pointer from Joel Embiid. Drills the three-pointer. Nice answer back there. Love to see the competitive. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. Well, he's going to just keep going now. That's early confidence for him. Yeah, easy call. New York getting their first shots from the stripe in this game. I mean, Oak is as strong as an ox. Has that intimidating nature about him on both ends. Someone you just do not want to mess with. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. And George gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. We play just over a minute here in the first. Pass to Ewing. Over MB. And again, it's the Knicks missing. Here's Philadelphia. Four-point game. Trains it from beyond the arc. George has got seven points. Yeah, Paul George, no problem pulling up well behind the three-point line to knock him down. Here's Oakley. No good that time. George with the defensive effort. Quick start here for the 76ers in this one. And that one's good, Maxi. Using those sight lines to find an open guy and be always ready to deliver. Pass to Starks. Out to Ewing. Shoots over Embiid. Ewing misses. As a big, once you get positioned inside, it allows you to fight and come away with a lot of tough boards. And it's George missing. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage play. Now the 76ers with it. They're on a 15-6 run. Three-pointer. It's hauled in by Harper. For the Knicks, it's been a slow start here. They trail by nine points. Pass to Oakley. Looking for Ewing. He gets it there. Makes it off the glass. And how about the muscle inside from Ewing? Easily getting to wherever he wants to on that low block. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Kevin, the Sixers have their superstar in Joel Embiid, but Coach Nick Nurse says they have to maximize him in different ways. Nurse said unpredictability is the key. We have to relieve some of the pressure. Guys are overplaying and sending multiple players at him. We have to find easy baskets out of it. Kevin? Makes a lot of sense, David. Thank you. Here's Ewing after the made shot from Joel Embiid. Back to Ewing. Inside. Here's Harper. Rebound by the 76ers. Inside Maxi. From outside the arc. Buries it from three-point range. Maxi's got five. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum like tonight that all the hustle plays have meant so much to this team now just sustain some of that energy and keep comfortable that one good for two displaying intensity right off the opening tip especially on the offensive end yeah if you walked in at any point during this game to watch five minutes of play one team played harder we know who that was here's Oakley nice work on the boards paying off with the basket Five points in the game. 
And that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the way. Yeah, you just can't afford to give up second chance opportunities again and again. A uh, good chance to see Paul George Burch that time. And I gotta say, sort of surprising he goes for a slam that difficult when they're trailing. Mm -hmm. but, but still, a magnificent move to the rim. Now Harper. Paul George missing from long range. And George gets the whistle that time. That'll be his second foul of the game. And a new group in for the Knicks. Checking in for the Knicks. So it's the Knicks now. It's a 10-point game. And that one's good by Davis. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Knocked loose and stolen by Maxi. Off target with his three. And Ewing has got the ball here for New York. And it's Davis at the elbow. Pass to Williams. It'll count. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. A terrific tempo and a great pace. The fit. 16. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the 76ers. Yeah, they've looked to fire as much as possible from outside the arc, and so far, they are hitting at a high clip. Ewing. And Patrick Ewing with the slam. And no doubt, they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Martin from outside. Off the mark. His first miss of the game. One for two. Williams for three. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. This is what he does. Find space on the perimeter and then sink the three. To the inside. MB powers it down. And seeing a guy as big as MB being so fluid in terms of his movement. Jaw drop. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of the game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Three-pointer by Embiid. Rebound by Smith. Knicks trail by seven. Pass to Ewing. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Outside for Lowry. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And how about Kyle just taking that shot right into the defender and knowing there's a good chance there's going to be some contact. And he sinks the second. Here's Harper. Nothing on the board. Davis has the open look. That falls. Nice feed that time from Harper. And you're asking for more trouble than you can handle if you're going to let him just roam free from beyond the arc. Now Lowry. To the middle. Here's Embiid. Physical play by Embiid inside. And right there, Embiid showing he's just too big and too skilled to stop. Lowry inside the line. And a little luck that time, but it drops. And now a 7.76ers lead. A 
on the wing, Davis. To the paint. Some nice passing by New York here. No good with the wing jumper. Uh, he loved to make them pay for giving up that wide open jumper. Just unable to do so. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldrin. Thank you, Kevin. Joel Embiid talks about leading his team. He said, I've been guarded so many different ways. I feel like I've seen everything, and I know how to attack everything. For me, it's all about how do I bring everyone along with me? You can't win alone. It's just about playing together and involving everybody. Kevin? And you've got to involve everybody. All right, D.A., thanks. Ewing's shot is good. Now, he's too good a finisher to blow that kind of chance, but that's going to be a wake-up call to the defense. And it's Nick Nurse calling timeout here. He wants to talk to his guys. Both teams will make substitutions. Philadelphia leading by seven. Down low. Here's Maxi. And he finishes nicely on the way. And that's now seven points for Tyrese Maxey. And with how explosive Maxey is, he's not your average guard in the paint. But another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. The Knicks have gone one for two on the night so far from the line. First one falls for him. First team foul. And so he hits both. Now the 76ers with it. They've held a 12-point lead earlier. Here's Maxi. Pass to George. Over Oakley. Charles That's his first personal foul. There's 53 seconds left now here in the second. Outside, George. Shot clock at six. Slam goal, and he draws the foul. A chance for another point at the free throw line. That's on Patrick Ewing. What great body control there. George, tremendous athlete, takes the hit, and he makes that one count. Next trail by 12. On the wing starts. We've got 33 seconds left in the first half. Here's Ewing. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. I don't think the defense does enough out there to bother him. I think that one's all on him. Just a flat-out miss. And here's George for three. For the basket, it's number six for him this game. Six for nine, 67% shooting. Well, PG can get in the zone, and those zones can stretch for a long time. The Knicks have been successful on three of their four free throw attempts up to this one. And the first one at the line is good. Both free throws good from Ewing. Eight seconds left to play in the first half. With four seconds on the clock, and the layup good by George. George has got eight here in the quarter. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. Outside Harper. Here's Ewing. That falls. High speed that time from Harper. Ewing's got 16 points. And one reason why Ewing is not only an all-star talent, but a Hall of Fame talent. Awesome at getting to his spots and then capitalizing. And it's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Well, just ripping through right there as he, he finds the open spot and gets right through their high basketball IQ play. Here's Maxi, And the rebound goes to Starks. Knicks trail by 13. To the middle. Out to Smith. Pass to Starks. Back to Oakley. Now Ewing. 
And Patrick Ewing with the slam. Well, here's the problem. He's shooting the lights out, but they're still behind. They need another guy to step up. Here's Maxi. A three-pointer off the mark. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. The lead now in single digits. Five points in the game. And uh, we're about a minute and a half here into the second half. Outside, George fires from deep. Charles Oakley grabs the miss. Knicks trail by nine. Fires to the hoop. Well, uh, they're getting stops, and they're attacking on the offensive end. Yeah, coaching staff probably loves this, just grinding out defensive possessions. Oh! Yes, sir. Well, not only looking at Paul George get up, look at the guys on the bench loving it from PG. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. Here's Starks. That falls. Nice feed that time from Harper. The adjustments they've made offensively, they're putting guys in a position now to succeed. And possession's just way more efficient, I think, here tonight, taking smarter, better shots, moving the ball around. That's helped them to get back in the ballgame. He's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Insane dunk. And now they're starting to rub it in. Build up a lead, and here we go. Maybe it is showtime. Here starts. He's got nine. Ewing left side. No question, he got bumped on that shot. For New York, they shot five of six at the foul line tonight. And the first one drops. Both free throws good from Ewing. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Embiid from outside. Rebound by Smith. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. This team really feeds off of one another in terms of their energy. At least in the second half they have been. The first half wasn't played anywhere near this intense. Here's Martin. Shakes him. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. Yeah, no stopping him on that play. Sometimes even the taller defenders are helpless to stop him. Here's Starks. That one's rebounded by Embiid. The 76ers leading by eight. Here's George. Yes, that goes in. 23 points for George. So good, so experienced. Paul George can convert the toughest of buckets. The shot's good. Say what you will about the value of the three-pointer, but those close-in looks are always plan A. Every trip down, get to the paint, get deep, score. Here's Maxi. That's in for his fifth make of the night. Now shooting at a 50% clip, five for 10. And when the score is as lopsided as it is, and you can see they smell blood in the water, our man is going for the juggling. Starks outside. Makes that one his sixth of the night. Shooting a very healthy six for nine. And so it's Maxi who brings up the ball for the 76ers. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Fires from way outside. John Starks pulls it in. He missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm-ups. Oh, no, I know he can make it, but th that's warm-ups. So maybe just a step too far. And, and cutting into the lead with the big one-hand throwdown. That's how you get your team back into it. Maxi looking it over. Outside for George. Outside Gordon. Back to George. There's the triple. And the rebound goes to Starks. And the powerful one-handed slam. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. 
such a critical part of how their offense is going to flow. Things are only working when he seems to be on the floor. And that's it for the third quarter. Both teams scoring well as we head to the fourth. 76ers lead. The next 56. And with three quarters behind us, let's see what this fourth period holds in store for us. The 76ers leading by seven. Here's Lowry. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And Lowry will get his fair share of points in close. This guy's a grinder. And Philadelphia making a change here. And Kyle Lowry drops them both. Knicks trail by nine. And there's the call on Kyle Lowry. That is his first foul of the game. First team foul. Now it's the lineup for your 76er. Now here's Anthony. Ashton Bonner. Here's Ewing. And now Martin pushing it up. No one back to stop him. Heads up play by Martin. Just get a running start and score off the break. Now here's Williams. Let's the three fly. And the rebound goes to Martin. Now Embiid. He's guarded by Ewing. Fires the three. Embiid, no good. One on one here. Pass to Davis. Here is Bonner. While recovering. Davis looking for an opening. To the inside. Ewing. Whistle blows, basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. And, and won't find many more games as entertaining as this one. No, this is about as high octane a game as you're going to find. For three, Gordon. Second chance shot. And Ewing sends it back. And here's Davis for three. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. And they had some boxed coverage that turned into no coverage. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Martin from outside. And Bonner pulls it down. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Just living around the hoop. Oakley, man, he is a ferocious finisher. Pass to Martin. Outside, Martin. Back to Martin. Martin's in the post. Outside, Martin. Just five to shoot. A shot by Lowry. No good. Knicks trail by seven. Here's Davis. And the layup's good off the glass. Really heads up there. A play where you locate the best open pass, and then you get it there for an easy bucket. And it's Nick Nurse calling timeout here. And that timeout by Coach was carefully measured, wanting to make sure that everybody is on the same page here. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alder. Well, during that break, Coach Nick Nurse talked to his team. Now he wants his team to mix it up offensively. He said, we've been settling for too many threes. Don't be afraid to attack the rim. Challenge the defense. Let's see some variety out there. Kevin, back to you. Okay, David, thanks. Knicks trail by five. Here's Harper. Screen by Smith. Back to Harper. Pass to Ewing. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. No points to be had here. Misses for the fifth time in 13 tries. Cross contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. See how comfortable and patient Paul George is inside. Feels like nobody's going to get to that shot. Let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Philadelphia. They're looking to attack and transition every time down the floor, just wearing the defense thin at this point. Two teammates connecting right there. Slick feed. From deep, George. 
hits the three-point bomb. George has got 12 points here in the second half. Really no spot on the floor where George can't hurt you with a versatile score. A nice shot by Ewing. Yeah, that's one way to get back into this game. Keep getting him the ball and let him make the shots. From T, George. And the 76ers get it back. Oubre, right side. Here's Maxi. Buried from 15 feet out. 16 points for Tyrese Maxi. Doing some damage from the mid-range. Maxi skilled at finding space to let it fly. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. And he comes up with the deuce. Well, Picasso couldn't have drawn that up any better. Perfect execution off the inbounds. And beat inside. Back to George. To the paint. Shoots inside. This is where Embiid wants the ball. It's just so tough to knock Embiid off the block. That's his territory. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Beyond the leaning, you can see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Got to hold firm or you're going to get a call. Guy has a good chance for them to slow it down. Yeah, they definitely should use some clock here. Back to Maxi. Get some room on the way in, and the bucket's good. And now it's an 11-point Philadelphia lead. Here's Oakley, and Charles Oakley out there with the slam. And though we often talk about Harper's scoring, he's just as adept at setting up his teammates. Here's Maxi. Oh, and he almost had a four-point play right there. He'll go to the line with a chance for three. Yeah, you, you hate to give up a foul on a three-point attempt. And he's good on the second. And he makes all three. You've got to figure those are the free throws that officially put this game out of reach. And here's Davis for three. Good on the triple. For three. They're in good position here to ride it out. Yeah, certainly. If they just play smart, this game's over. And I think they realize any hope of a comeback is gone. Well, realistic at this stage of the game, they're going to lose this one, but will they take something from the loss? And it's sent back by Drummond. From deep. And that one's good, Maxi. So it's Philadelphia winning this one.